Good evening and welcome to Let's Play Thomas Was Alone. I don't know very much about this game, but got it for sale on Steam, so let's try it out. The program was a failure. People forget this. It was a massive flop. The coders started adding name strings to the ALS as a joke. Thomas-AT-23-6-12 wasn't special, and that was Thomas too fast to get it all. Alone. Wow. A weird first thought to have. Okay. Ooh. And we can jump. Come, come, come. Um, all right. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. One, the whole alone thing. Two portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. Interesting. What's that? Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to. What's the word? Jump. I like that. Uh, it worked. This? Thomas had solved the great inverted fall mystery. Good job, Thomas. Okay. He jumped, but Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing him, but gently. <laughs> Oops. And we did miss it, but... Oh, almost. No, can't get it from here. Okay. I just gotta time it a little better. Good job, Thomas. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. Um, I want to get that little square over there. He's starting to suspect <gasps> it might. This all seemed a little dangerous. I'm still going for it. The world was not to be trusted. Oh, not quite. All right, Thomas. This all seemed a little dangerous. Rawr, big jump. The world was not no, we shot over it. Okay, maybe we should just leave it alone. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down <gasps> at any moment. He was starting to suspect it might even be doing so on purpose. Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. Okay. It might have been paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. It had been designed just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. Too obvious. It's just for fun, Thomas. That's the point. Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated <laughs> Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. He made another mental note. Four. Water. Not good. To be avoided. Okay. Is this a, a respawn point? It's telling me to pass through one. Oh. 
Or did it mean I needed to, to die and respawn there? The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. Well, Thomas. I mean, it's called Thomas Was Alone. So, is it just him on his own, or does he get to find some friends? Oh, dang it. Okay. There we go. Thomas had a new theory. The world was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. He was evolving. He just wished he had someone to share it with. Oh, come on. Almost there, Thomas. There you go. I submitted hundreds of bug reports. I told that idiot this would happen. Overlapping scripts. More than one AI was bound to be spawned into an environment at some point. Turns out I missed the point. That little error changed everything. Does Thomas get a friend? Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red <gasps> rector. No. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? Come on, Chris. Thomas is a good guy. Um, there we go. Chris. Thomas is an important fellow because you can't jump good enough to get over here on your own. Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Well, not actually. <laughs> not technically graceful. It's probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. Mm, I think you might need him here, Chris. I don't think you can do it. Nope, you can't make that. You got this, Thomas. Don't worry. So is this saving, or do I need to... Alright, we're gonna try it. Did that do it then? We're just gonna assume so and move on. Okay. This was more like it. A glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it. Which of course made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Well, let's go see. Great, great. Okay. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Seriously, this made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. Well, this is going to be a lot of teamwork. Um, but how do we get... 
at, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, you can't jump with Chris on him. Well, uh, I guess we'll try that. Can Thomas make, yeah, Thomas has it. We're good. Sorry, Chris. Was this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Oh, come on, Chris. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, <laughs> but where had that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. Mm, what do we need to do here? Aha! Oh! Chris, you go first. Alright. jump. Uh, let's see. Okay, can he closer? Well, it's all at the same height, so what do we need to do? Um, Alright. This isn't going to make a difference here. Or does Chris just have to do this on his own? I think maybe he... Yeah, he does. Oh. I choked. Commit to the jump. There we go. Alright, Thomas. Yours must be over here. Oh, I see. Thomas needs Chris. Well, there you go, Chris. You can stop be, you know, stop being such a downer browner about this. And look, you were needed. Thomas, good job. Chris, we already know you can do this. If we commit to the jump all the way, don't pull back. We got this. Hooray! Chris stared at Thomas with pure hatred. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. Yeah. That would be fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. He hoped the next portal would split them up. If only for a few levels. Oh, come on, Chris. No need to be so negative about it.
Um, yeah, you got it. Good job. There you go. You got to do all that yourself. Oh, Thomas, this is a little trickier for you. That's all right. You got this. Does Chris get his wish? Oh, another friend. John knew. He knew that this was his chance. A moment to shine. This was game day. <laughs> okay, so Thomas can jump up no problem. But how are we going to get Chris over here? He's going to be the problem. Chris mm. uh, maybe if he's just fat yeah good job boys this would not do John needed room to show off his exceptional skills as it was he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. Where did they come from, anyway? There you go. John inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. Time to flex those muscles, to put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. Oh, not like that. Jump, man. There you go. All right, John, you get the switch. John decided to press the switch to... Let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. Aww. You could tell from the sympathetic expression <laughs> practiced in the mirror all these years. All right, Chris, you're up next. Oh, stuck. We need Thomas. what Chris feels about John. Oops. There we go. Yeah, it looks like he'll be alright till here. There we go. Oh yeah, we're actually... Okay, it's gotta be down here. Don't anyone die. All right, we're good. Hmm. All right, Chris, you're up. Oh, wait, 
Thomas is gonna need help too, isn't he? Yeah. And Chris. There you go. Good job, team. John was happy to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped off there. I thought it was going to keep rising up and squash him. There you go. How are we going to get Chris up there? Maybe there's another button we'll have to push. There's gotta be, because there's no, there's no other way Chris can make it. All right, we're just gonna go forth with John for now and see if he can find a button. He didn't mind them so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. The angry orange one was. <laughs> Less immediately likable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. Okay, what are we gonna do here? Can John still? No, he can't still jump. Is Chris there? And he's not quite tall enough. Maybe if we got right up close. Alright, Thomas, scoot over here. No, he's, he just can't quite get there. Um, hmm. Take these two and see if we can get that little square at any rate. Oh, actually, we better jump Thomas up there first. might do. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now we really have to find a way to help out Chris. We'll go ahead and do that next time. I'll wind things down here. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Come back next time. We'll continue the adventures of Thomas, Chris, and John and see if we can find any more friends.